Hi, and welcome to another podcast. I'm your host, Jeremy Rodrigo. Thank you for joining it today. And I'm really happy to have uh, with us today um, Dr. Robert Bada. He's a vascular surgeon right here at Waterbury Hospital, and Jamie Manueli from Inari Medical. And they're going to show us a device that we're now using at Waterbury Hospital, which is relatively new to us, to take care of patients with DVT, also known as deep vein thrombosis. And um, it's a condition that affects uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of people a year, and it can be very painful, it can be very debilitating to patients, and it can actually be very, um, uh, very serious condition. And this is a, a, a kind of an innovative device that was developed that we're using to um, treat this in a really aggressive but very safe way, right? Yeah, I agree. And so thank you, Dr. Botta. We really appreciate you coming. Jamie, thank you. Thank you. Um, tell me a little bit about patients with DVT. Tell me you know, how they get diagnosed, how you get them presented to you. What was the old-fashioned way of taking care of it or what the more traditional ways of taking care of it? Absolutely. Yeah, the uh, DVTs, I think it's an important thing that we uh, let everyone know about and you know, do some more outreach on because traditionally we would just give people blood thinners, yeah. which is a pill, you know, once or twice a day, and then give them compression socks. Um, you know, and uh, some of the problems with that were that they were getting blood clots going to the lungs, or that the clots would uh, cement in and firm up in the legs to the point that they couldn't be removed any longer, so they, they lost options. And then they have just leg swelling for the rest of their life, heaviness, sometimes even venous ulcers. Yeah. And uh, they're just a very difficult condition to treat in the long term. Uh, so there were some modes of treating it um, that were a long hospital stay and uh, multiple trips to the operating room. But uh, with Inari, we've been able to do these uh, in one session and remove the clots minimally invasively. It's a, a small device uh, that goes in through the vein and removes the clot mechanically. Yeah. And okay. so this device kind of comes in and I saw a demonstration of it. It kind of scoops it out. Almost. Exactly, like a big windsock that goes in and just pulls that clot right out. And so and after the satisfying. clot's out, now what? Right, the clot's out. Um, you go on blood thinners to prevent it from coming back, but you know, really the swelling goes away pretty quickly. Yeah. You know, with some compression socks and some leg elevation the first couple of days, and you know your your swelling is better. And then the long-term prognosis of the patient is they don't have that clot anymore. Exactly. They can kind of go back to normal. Yeah. Right. Exactly. In the short term, they don't have that pain that you would normally have, you know, for three months of just pain and heaviness. And then in the long term, you don't have that sense of swelling and heaviness always in that one leg. Yeah. Um, and having to wear compression socks for the rest of your life is really, yeah. you know, a thing of the past now for that, DVT. That's what I like to hear. You know, that old way is kind of a thing of the past. Like, this is new and innovative and exactly. we've removed it. We've removed the clot, you know, safely, you yes. know. And one of the things you talked about is those sometimes clots will, trans, will um, um, let break loose and go into the lung, and that could be a dead, really a life yes, threatening condition. Very dangerous, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the dangerous side of DVTs. Uh, the blood clots can break free from the vein and go up to the heart and the lungs, um, and that will, you know, um, you know, could be a life threatening you know, situation. So, you know, it is important to get these noticed right away. If yeah. you notice yourself or a family member having leg swelling that's very severe on one side, it's really important to come to the emergency room and get it fixed in that, yeah. that admission. Yeah. And this is something that we do all the time at Waterbury Hospital. We do all the time. Right here, it's a state-of-the-art hybrid room. We really have everything. We're able to treat the patient from any angle, any leg, you know, Just and, um, and really remove it on that admission. Because the success as you wait is less and less. So right. if we can get this treated right away, you're really not many problems down the line. If you're waiting weeks or months, it gets harder and harder. It gets harder and harder to and do, just like with anything else. If you exactly. recognize that there was some symptoms or your doctor tells you or you go yeah. to the emergency room, go right in. Get it done. It has to be treated because not everywhere knows, you know, that you should be treated right away with it. Some people yeah. will still, you know, use that old model of take some blood thinners and see how you do. Yeah. But I think really kind of advocate for yourself push to talk to uh, someone who does, who treats blood clots yeah. and say, you know, should this be removed or is this really safe to go home and take some blood thinners? Perfect. Yeah. Our company was founded on that whole premise as well. This is a large disease state. They didn't have a lot of great options at yeah. the time. PE is the third leading cause of cardiovascular death. So as Dr. Bada said, these clots travel up and too many people die from that. Totally half preventable. Half of the patients, yeah, that are diagnosed with DVT half end up with post-thrombotic syndrome. Their legs are heavy, swollen. They're never the same yeah. because it wasn't treated early enough. So 
not everyone needs this treatment, but the device is about as large as the inside of your pen, the little ink uh, part, so it's yeah. really minimally invasive. So it was a newer tool designed to make this easier to treat. All right, so Jamie and Dr. Body, you're gonna show us how this works. So I'm gonna do something I normally don't do. And I normally don't wear this get up on the podcast, <laughs> first of all. But I'm gonna do something I normally don't do. I'm gonna get on the other side of the camera so I can get in real tight while these guys go through and show us the actual procedure on this model of, uh, of a patient. So I'm gonna hand the mic over to Jamie. Okay, thank you. And I'm gonna get on this. All right, you can see, got a model of a, a person's veins very simplified. We're just, you know, this is the level of the knee, and this is the vein that comes to your knee. It drains all the way through, up to the groin level, the belly level, up to the heart, and out to the lungs. So, you know, that's where these clots can go. Um, so this is just a plastic model full of liquid, kind of show how the device works. Jamie kind of showed you the the small device, why don't Jimmy take over and show them. Sure, sure, I'll just show you outside of the fake body here what this looks like, and as Dr. Bada said, it looks like a large windsock, so it's tucked away in this catheter, and it opens up, and it's made out of a special metal that warms up and expands, and exudes a little outward force so it can scoop this clot out of the veins and remove it from the body. So this is how it works, but what's important is it captures uh, with as finely woven as a screen door, a little collection bag that makes sure this clot doesn't go to the lungs. So I'll put it through, and you'll see this pink fake clot we're going to pull out, but it's as simple as this. So I'll reconstrain it. And I know, uh, Dr. Bai, you've done several of these, mm -hmm. so what have you been your thoughts on how the patients have presented on follow-up? Yeah, the follow-up is really the impressive part um, because um, the amount of patients that I have still wearing compression socks has um, is, is really gone down as we've been treating this more and more acutely, you know, the same admission. People come in, they're pleased, they say, I don't really need the compression socks. I don't know why everyone's telling me to wear them, you know, because traditionally that's, that was a standard. Um, and so it's, uh, it, it's been great that they've been able to be free of that and take blood thinners for three to six months and then, um, and then really just be done of it with some surveillance ultrasounds. And they can get off the blood thinners at some point, if it's uh, indicated? Yeah, we usually send to a hematologist to make sure we find out why they have a blood clot, unless it's, it's something that's very straightforward, like after a surgery you had a blood clot. You see Jamie's passing the blood clot right here, so that pink is the fake blood clot. You can mm -hmm. see how mobile it is. If I squish it, it could really easily move. He's got this small device to sneak past it, okay. and then he's going to advance the basket all the way up into the major vein of the body, and then that basket is about to pop open really nice that you'd be able to see this in clear view here. We're going to scoop, scoop that clot. Really nice, nice slow pull. Yeah, oh my gosh, you almost got all of it in one. It usually takes us a couple passes to get all of the clot. He, he may have gotten it all in one, but Jamie's been doing this for a long time. That's nice. That's really nice. And the device looks just like this passing through the vein. Nice and slow. Slower is better just to ensure. And then the sheath is the tube inside of the body. This would be just behind the knee, the patient's laying on their belly in this kind of setting. And we just collapse the device in the funnel, especially designed to make sure we can capture this clot and pull it out. And you'll kind of see in a second, some of that might stay near our sheath, but that's fine. We can suction it out. Yeah. So once we're done, this is full of the actual blood clot, and it would look very similar, but this is a flarp that you can buy at your local toy store, but yeah. it acts really well as a, a clot analog. And all I'll do here is just suction this out kind of quickly for you so you yeah. see it. This is the basket on the return end as well, and that will capture all the clot as you're bringing it down. And, so um, there's no longer any danger to the patient at this point, right? Right. All the, the clot's gone. The this is where the clot was up here. That's where the clot was, all clear in the major vein here. And now that it's pulled through, there's really not much left. And like I said, it usually takes us about four passes, but we got it all out in just about one there. And then this suctions the rest of it. You can see how it just cleared it right through. That was nice. And now it's yeah. in there. And then we give the blood back through a system, a filter system, which we won't, won't put you through here, but you have a filter system to return the blood. So it really minimize the blood loss and minimize, there's really, really no surgery. It's just one little needle puncture behind the knee. So it's, um, 
it's a lot. So uh, great advancement. Bleeding, right? right, the major bleeding is minimized. We don't need all the strong blood thinners um, in the ICU anymore. And um, we don't need multiple trips to the operating room. Most of these can be done in one, in one session. Right. Yeah, yeah. For demo purposes, we suction that out, but it works a little differently with this, this soft stuff here. Sure. So that's it. Sure. So again, this is a procedure uh, that we're doing here at Waterbury Hospital. Um, it's a condition that affects hundreds of thousands of patients a year, and we can uh, treat it really, really well and give you back that quality of life that you've been, you've been wanting if you've had a DVT. So please, if you think you've got some swelling or all the things that Dr. Bonas spoke about, and go to the emergency room if you feel that's indicated. Speak to your doctor, and if this procedure is right for you, then come right in, minimally invasive, get the procedure done, and get back to life. Absolutely, right? I agree, Jeremy. Don't delay on the leg swelling, yeah. I agree. So I wanna thank Dr. Bada, I wanna thank Jamie Manuelli from Inari Medical, and thank you for joining us, we'll see you next time. Thank you, thanks.